All right, welcome back to the show here on WRMN AM 1410. Super Dave here with you, and I've got, uh, I've got, th th this is confusing to me also. I, I made notes. Last hour I had Donnie on from Tommy's. This hour I've got Tommy on from Marshall Brodeen. Tommy, how you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing great, Super Dave. Tom Holbrook here from Marshall Brodeen's Amazing Magic. Yeah, good to have you, and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us on uh, on a cold, windy uh, winter night with snow falling down, and and hopefully you'll uh, you don't have far to drive to get home safely tonight. Oh goodness sakes! I hope not either. It's a, it's a pleasure being on WRMN 1410, the home of the greatest show on the radio, the Radio Shopping Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, I like that plug. Um, now, you're you're part of a group that keeps magic alive through a, a legendary magician, especially here in the Chicago area, Marshall Brodeen. Tell us uh, a little bit about Marshall Brodeen and, and your interaction with, with him and uh, what you're doing with, uh, with the magic tricks. Well, uh, the great Marshall Brodeen Sr., as many may know, hopefully they recall, the very popular WGN television show, Bozo Circus, later renamed The Bozo Show, where Marshall Sr. portrayed the wacky wizard character, Wizzo, for nearly 30 years, I believe. He was very instrumental in the production and distribution and promotion of magic sets. Some of uh, the listeners may have owned at one time the TV magic cards, where Marshall would tell you that it was easy once you knew the, knew the secret. And um, he sold millions of decks of cards and millions of different magic sets that he had created. Magic sets for the Bill Bixby show, The Magician, Bill Bixby's cards, also the oh famous magicians out in Las Vegas, Siegfried and Roy, Lance Burton, as well as for Disney licenses such as the 101 Dalmatians, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Aladdin, and such. Uh, his magic sets were sold throughout the country, all over the place, primarily to Toys R Us, and I believe at the Home Shopping Network he sold nearly, uh, I'm going to say, uh, 10,000 sets during <laughs> his visit there wow. in one evening many years ago. But uh, I like to tell people that he influenced more magicians than Harry Houdini because just about every child in the 70s and 80s received a Marshall Brodeen magic show, and uh, they were inspired to learn some of the tricks and that magic was easy once you know the secret. Once you know the secret, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I got to uh, to talk with uh, one of your colleagues, uh, Chris, a little bit, and uh, went to his house, and uh, some, of the, uh, some of the pictures that he has of the magicians and, and, and everything, and, and the Bozo costume and, and the Wizzo costume and, and everything. Absolutely mind-boggling uh, how many memories came flooding back to me. Uh, pe people often ask me who, uh, out of all the 16 years of doing the radio show and, and the, uh, the, uh, the Dave and Dave show for a number of years, who was like my favorite person to interview? And for a long time, I didn't have an answer. Now, for the last, I don't know, three, four, five years, I have an answer. And it ties into Marshall Brodeen and the Bozo Show. Um, I got to interview Larry Harmon, um, gosh, probably 12, 13, 14 years ago. And he had the voice of Bozo for like the cartoons and, and everything. And I got to interview him as Bozo. And it was like, oh my gosh, I'm talking to Bozo. Uh, I felt like a 10 year old again uh, down there at the WGN studios. And, and I've got the magic cards. I, I know the secrets, not so easy. I still need help. I, I don't have, my mind is not the, the, the mind of a magician. I like doing magic tricks, but uh, I, I need them like really, really simple. Pick a number one through three, and I can tell you what it is with three choices. Oh, there you go. I love that yeah. trick. That's, yeah. a, that's a fantastic yeah. trick. It's, it's interesting you brought up Mr. Larry Harmon from 2002 to nearly 2006, I worked with Mr. Harmon. Oh, wow. And portrayed the character of Bozo the Clown. After the WGN show was off the air, I worked with WGN Charities with the Bozo Ball. I performed on variety shows, fairs, festivals, oh. licensed conventions and such. 
and it was a, a great honor to work with Mr. Harmon. Yeah. He was um, a, a prolific marketer and very excited about the character that he had picked up from Capitol Records back in 1956, and uh, he helped to keep prom the promotion going and yeah. kept the character alive and brought him to television where he needed to be. Very nice, very nice. Look at that. Small world. I of love course, that. Of course, we know that Chicago's very own, very first bozo was Bob Bell, the Bob great Bell. Bob Bell. Yep. Everybody re everybody respects yep. him. And then Joey Dioria stepped into the shoes yeah. later on. Yeah, and uh, Roy yeah. Brown was Cookie. and Oh, uh, God bless Roy Brown. Yes. Ray, Ray Rayner was uh, Oliver o Oliver, and of course, yeah. Marshall Burdine was Wizzo. Um, yeah. and, and now tell us, uh, we, we've got the, uh, the magic tricks uh, the magic trick box on our show here. And we promote that, uh, you know, you can go to Marshall Brodeen's amazingmagic.com and purchase other tricks. And part of that money goes to help, uh, Marshall and, and other people, uh, dealing with, uh, with the disease, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the charity of Alzheimer's awareness is very important to us. There's probably not a single family throughout America that hasn't been touched in some way with a family member or loved one who is uh, besieged with this devastating, devastating, um, debilitating, robbing, stealing, uh, w wicked situation of Alzheimer's and dementia. And uh, since Marshall was very inspirational to all of us, and uh, he and Roy, interestingly enough, brought me into showbiz when I was younger, they uh, mean a lot to me, and they mean a lot to my business partners, Glenn Chelius and Marshall Brodeen Jr. And we chose the Alzheimer's Awareness Association because of that. Now, proceeds from the sales of any of the products on our website, MarshallBrodeen'sAmazingMagic.com, go to help Alzheimer's Awareness. And right now, I believe our charity of choice is the facility where Marshall Brodeen Sr. is currently residing in the Chicagoland area, and uh, we think that we, we we feel very strongly about it, and the effects and the magic tricks uh, in the set are very simple to do, very entertaining, and a lot of fun. And you get a great value when you make a purchase, and some of the proceeds go to help the Alzheimer's Association. We've also done numerous other events in regards to bringing the character as well as the magic sets out to the public. And we're very thankful for you, Super Dave, and WRMN and the Radio Shop and Show for giving us this opportunity to, to have these products available and to help spread the necessity for the Alzheimer's awareness. Well, you, you mentioned to me uh, off the air, Tommy, uh, that you've got some events coming up throughout the Chicagoland area where our listeners can, can get tickets and go to also? I believe some of the events are open and okay. some of the events are tickets events, yeah. Okay. Um, last year we were, uh, for the second year, a part of the Walk to End Alzheimer's. It runs in the fall, and prior to that we were at the King County Fair, and Chris Unger and the fair board were nice enough to have us, uh, gave us space and, and allowed us to pitch our magic sets and to meet the public, and we had a great time that day. And we also had Marshall Jr., uh, bring his dad out, Marshall Sr., oh, nice. and uh, that was a wonderful event. You can see pictures of that up on our website and Facebook page at www.marshallbrodeensamazingmagic.com. But the events that we have coming up in February, uh, the one in particular that I'd like to talk about will be at the McCormick Place, and Marshall Jr. and his pal, the Wacky Wizard Wizzo, will be providing magic shows and fun entertainment at the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation event at the Kids Zone at the McCormick Place on February 23rd. Okay. The event runs from 8 o'clock till 3 p.m., I believe, and Marshall Brodeen Jr. and Wizzo will be making an appearance around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I believe. Very nice, very nice. And, uh, and then uh, coming up in May, which is not really too far away, No. Uh, Marshall Brodeen Magic will be a part of, I apologize there, Marshall Brodeen's Amazing Magic will be a part of the Alzheimer's Association Rita Hayworth Gala. There's a black tie event being held at the Hilton in Chicago, and Wizzle will be there, and the magic sets, as well as a very special opportunity for someone to bid on a private magic show by Marshall Brodeen Jr., and or Wizzo for a birthday event or company uh -huh. event or something like that. And this will be 
helping to raise funds for the Alzheimer's Association. And they're looking to raise $1.3 million during this event. It'll be a lot of fun. Holy cow. Wow. And, and, and again, uh, Marshall Brodeen's AmazingMagic.com is the website. And um, I also noticed that uh, besides the magic tricks, that very uh, familiar looking uh, logo is on T-shirts. A- and you mentioned you've got like celebrities lining up to, to wear this shirt, correct? Oh, yes. We've got a, a, a very interesting social networking promotion going on that uh, Glenn Chelius, my business partner with mm-hmm. Marshall Brodeen's Amazing Magic, came up with. And that was to ask celebrities that either knew Marshall or were inspired by Marshall or just have a heart for the Alzheimer's Association to wear the TV Magic Cards t-shirt and to take a picture of themselves. And we're going to work this into a, a special project that will be coming up this summer, I believe. Very cool, very cool. It's yeah. a lot of fun. So far, we've had some fantastic participants. We've had the incredible ventriloquist and uh, comedian and star. He works throughout the, uh, actually throughout the country, Bob Rumba. And yeah. we've had Judy Tenuta. Oh, yeah. And, uh, of course, we've got uh, WGN's uh, very own Joey Dioria, who portrayed Bozo the Clown for 30 years, I believe, or so. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have Matt King and uh, the incredible Dan Sperry, who's uh, a Chicago illusionist, who's now currently working out in Las Vegas, where you can find Matt King as well. And uh, I believe that Dan Sperry was on the... Um, a Penn and Teller show in regards to uh, try to fool us. Oh, fool us! Okay, yeah, yeah, I, that I, was a lot of fun, and we're very, we're very honored that the associates and 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 stars and celebrities have been very nice and helpful and understanding in regards to what we're working on and how important the Alzheimer's Awareness Association is to us. Yeah, and, and you know what, um, Wizzo and, and Marshall Brodeen. Um, Chicago, Chicago landmarks, uh, institutions, and, and everything with uh, with so many celebrities coming in and out of Chicago all the time. You you can probably find a lot more people to uh, to get that T-shirt on, and uh, you know one little appearance on maybe like the Tonight Show uh, would oh, be, that, would be huge. <laughs> that would right? be awesome. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, that Jimmy Kimmel, awesome. we, Jimmy Fallon, yeah. uh, Jimmy, uh, any name, anyone named Jimmy that hosts a TV show. Uh, I think we'll look into that. <laughs> There's also a uh, very well known horror host that's in the Chicago end area. That will possibly be helping us as well. We're very thankful for that. Uh, 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 I believe. A, s- a Swedish guy, right? Sven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say he is. <laughs> yeah, being his first name is, uh, you know, Sven, yeah. Uh-huh. So um, we also, uh, we're very honored with the mayor of Geneva proclaiming Marshall Brodeen's birthday last summer as Marshall Brodeen Day. Uh-huh. And uh, sent out a proclamation and we got some, very nice press in regards to what we're working on and what we're trying to achieve with Marshall Brodeen, Amazing Magic, and the Alzheimer's Awareness Association. Well, very nice, very nice. Um, we we do need to wrap this up, but I mentioned it before the commercial break, and I'm going to put you on the spot here, uh, Tommy, uh, because you portray Wizzo uh, very, very well. Uh, you keep me laughing every time you come into the studio and you, you scare me sometimes when you pop up without me even seeing you. It's like you weren't there, and then all of a sudden, poof, a magic uh, magic spell, and you're right there in the studio with me. Um, it's, wanna, an, it's indeed an honor. It's yeah. indeed an honor. Well, I, I want to I see if we can maybe get a few listeners uh, up until 7 o'clock to do a uh, the Wizzo voice. So if you can uh, remind everyone of uh, Wizzo, uh, I, I would appreciate it. Oh, well, let me step into character here. I have to put those curly-toed shoes on. and put this mustache on my face and <laughs> hello super dave it's your pal wizzo from arovia i hear that you're knee deep into that fluffy white stuff that chicago gets hit with yeah my... i'm basking in the rays of the sun uh... in my beautiful castle in arovia <laughs> my my car can hardly make it here uh, up and oh. down the hills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember being in Chicago and I had to drive my famous car, the Rose Canardly. Canardly? Yeah, Rose Canardly. It rose down one hill and can hardly make it up the next. 
Doody, 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 doody. Oh, very good. Wizzo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, for years of laughter and enjoyment. And uh, again, amazing uh, magic tricks and, and, uh, and the fundraisers that, uh, that you and, and Chris and the rest of the, uh, the group are, uh, are doing. Uh, uh, thank you for, uh, for joining me tonight here. And if there's anything that I'll, anything else that I can do, uh, please, please don't hesitate to give me a call. or Well, Super email. Dave, you've been actually super wonderful to us. So is WRMN. Uh, I'd like to put a shout out to my business partners, Glenn Chelius and Marshall Brodeen Jr. And uh, encourage uh, your listeners on the fantastic 1410 WRMN to check out the catalog for the radio shopping show. And uh, you, when you make a purchase, purchasing one of the magic sets, then you're, you're doing good things to help Alzheimer's awareness. And we want to thank you all. Thank you, Super Dave, and everyone involved. And, and uh, feel free to visit us on Facebook. The same name applies, Marshall Brodeen's Amazing Magic. And remember, everybody out there, be careful and uh, be safe tonight. And remember, life, just like magic, is easy once you know the secret. <laughs> Any chance you can make the snow disappear? Um. Give, Not unless I don't. <laughs> give you a few, give you a few, so. a, a few months. You can do it, right? I, I believe in about ninety days the snow <laughs> will begin to disappear. It'll take that long for the spell to take effect. All right. You guys have a wonderful evening, and from Arobia, this is your pal Wizzo signing off. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wizzo. We'll talk to you soon. Eight four seven nine three one fourteen ten is the phone number for.